so, so much. Thank you so, so <laughs> Thank you. Make a copy and give some to the it's archive, really incredible. too. All right. The, the uh, Jazz and Heritage Archive. All right, real quick. I'm also a very good friend of Lee's. I go back a long time with her. My name is Alan Smason. I have to tell you, I met Lee on WTUL, just like Michael did. He was on WTUL. Uh, we became close friends in one night when she called me up on the radio station and wanted to become friends. And I never thought of her anything less than a sister. She was a blessing to everyone in New Orleans who knew her. I just wanted to say one thing. Missy, you mentioned about the, the bar scene in the late 70s. There wouldn't have been a bar scene if it hadn't been for Lee Queenie. That's, uh, Lee Harris started the bar scene when Jed Palmer put her butt up on the stage and said, sing, baby, and she did. And because of that, we had Tipitinas, we had Jimmy's, and all the other clubs that followed. So, all right. Yeah, thank you for that, man. Yeah, I mean, I think Professor Longhair had something to do with Tipitinas. Yeah, yeah but, I, but, I, but I, I like your point. I like your point. Take yeah. your point, Alan. Yes, yeah. take your point. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Rachel. I'm the archivist for Jazz and Heritage. Rick, I just want to say that uh, HNOC and I are planning on doing an oral history with you. Um, so I know you have a lot to share, but we would like for the audience, if that's okay with you, unless you have something quick. quick? Very quick. Okay, that would be really great because we know we need a lot of your history as well. Well, does everybody think Lee deserves this or what? Yeah. <laughs> Real quick, I've put together a website for her and that's what that QR code on the program is for. You scan that, it takes her, you'll find recordings, you'll find photographs, you'll find videos, and a whole bunch of history. So that's where all her archives are, and very shortly we'll be putting up a link to the HOC uh, collection there. So anybody that wants to find anything for Lee, that's where it'll be. Thank you all so much for coming for Thank you. Thank you. And stick around. Don't you know, um, stick around because there's going to be some dang fine music being played this evening. And also, again, please give a round of applause for Missy Bowen, Nina Bozak, and Debbie Davis. Thank you so much, Gwen. Yes, Gwen thank you, Tompkins. Gwen. Yay. Thank you, Gwen Tompkins, for giving us such a great time.
save me a little minute here. I'm going to tune up real quick, bro. Adjustments here. I think we should let her introduce herself. No one could say it better. Tonight, channeled through the voice of Darcy Malone. Here's, I got a song I gotta sing. <laughs>
to sing, see all these people a little bit later. Yes. Don't you worry, no. she will be back. That's right. <laughs> okay, little Lee Harris. She was a southern girl. She loved those northern poets. The Coens and the Dillons and the Simons, and especially Joni Mitchell. But when she put her folk poetry through those greasy realms of New Orleans music, it got a lot bluesier. Debbie Davis is going to lead us in a tune right now called Crazy Mirror.
You know, in the first song where uh, Lee was talking about a man keeping time, that was Ricky Sebastian she was talking about over there. Old partner, Lee's. On the bass, we got John Murnay, original Percolators bass player. On the guitar, a solid rock in the band, that's Jimmy Robinson. Got Josh Taxton right over here. That was him playing that incredible piano on Cloudburst earlier. I'm Johnny Zimple. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. We were talking uh, in the panel about a really cool song that, that Lee wrote called Dog Days. We're going to do something tonight. We, we, we call it uh, Little Queenie's Big Easy Trilogy. Three songs, love letters of hers to her hometown. We're going to start with, with Dog Days here. Um, in which we find our heroine taking on the topic that few dare to tackle. It's the heat, but more than that, the humility. <laughs> Leading us in this will be Lenny Zenith and Allison Young. Josh on the piano.
I was smoking hot. I would like to take this minute here to embarrass a few people out in the audience. Oh, good. We had a wonderful panel of women up here. Wasn't that great? All the stories they tell. There's a recognition of just a couple of guys that I would like to <laughs> bring up here. First one is Mr. Rick Ledbetter. Yeah. That's uh, Lee's husband. He put together this really great uh, program here and has done all kind of things for Lee and her musical legacy. These are people from way back, and one of them is Mr. Johnny Palazzotto right here. Stand up, man. Helped us out immensely in our first days. The next one I want to embarrass is Mr. Michael Reinert. Stand up, Michael. The man who first brought the percolators up to New York to play. Also the one who wrote on uh, the, the warning for her when she got on the radio, please do not say <laughs> or <laughs> all those things. <laughs> Michael Ryan, thank all you very all much. All the things she probably said anyway. One other guy, Mr. Frank Quintini, who produced the L Little Queen and Percolators <laughs> single, My Darling New Orleans, and Mr. Rick Sherrick, also another great supporter of Lee back in the day. Rest in peace. Now, we, uh, there's been a rumor that, uh, that Lee Harris has passed on. It is said, that's right, it is said that little Queenie is gone. But I don't believe it. I think she's here right now. She'd not miss this party, no way, no how. Her presence is here, even in a ghostly manner. So we're going to do a little song here of mine, actually, that uh, Queenie took to a uh, magical, ethereal place. It's called Like a Ghost. Allison is going to lead us with a lot of help. You've heard the stories of him And how he'll draw you in Until of you he's sure That's when he'll turn in to think Why his weary soul has 
has no place to go. He'll move through you like a ghost. Ooh. Oh, I know he was not to blame. From the very start Just like I know It's insane To hold a place in my heart For him to fill Cause he never went Thank you. That's where we try not to cry. That's why we have, that's why we have these up here. That's Holly, and Debbie, and Darcy, and Allison. All right, we got a real special lead singer right here for you, and we want to honor one other, one other guy. In in Lee Harris's life, and that was Bruce McDonald. And uh, Bruce and Lee had a great collaboration, not just in music and, and the fact that they got married, but they also produced a wonderful kid here. And uh, believe it or not, he has a ton of musical talent himself. He does something on the washboard that uh, nobody else really ever did exactly like that. It happens that he's a pretty dang good singer, too. Who knew, huh? It's, uh, it's Alex Harris McDonald. <laughs> From Lee and Bruce. Who knew? Take a minute. Stop, for <laughs> I would have no living left. <laughs> it's Ricky Sebastian on the drums, boys and girls. Let's hear him get wicked. I failed to mention that was Tom Marin on this violin there before. He'll be back. But right now we got Joe Cabral on the bass. Maybe you fool so many, many times. 
Get empty my pockets when it's nickels and dime. You take me down easy, inch by inch. You stole my soul, sugar, pinch by pinch. You got me under your spell. Got no mind of my own. Sunk to the level of sticks and stones. Shots and boomerang. You won't be happy till you see me hang. You way down big, and but you just don't look it. You're so good looking, but you're so damn crooked. You're crooked like wood, I wouldn't be good for double. Sling shots and boomerang. Somebody help me. I can't help myself. Turning my home into an Alcatraz suit. My friends are relation, yeah, they're coming around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ain't never gonna live down. I know you think you bad, you think you got to be free. With all of your evil bed, you put changes on me, yeah. Sling shots and boomerangs. You see me hang, you way down wicked, but you just don't look it. You're so good looking, but you're so damn crooked. You're crooked like wood, and wouldn't be good for nothing. Make like shots and boomerang. Go faint now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do number two in the Little Queenie Big Easy trilogy here. A song called Gumbo Heaven. And I'm here to declare this the 
best gumbo song ever. I got proof. The reason is, I mean, first of all, you couldn't have a more personal, poetic, provocative description of gumbo ever. Any other song, gumbo gum song give you that? No. Hell no. I mean, heck no. But what other song actually gives you the whole recipe for gumbo? This one does. We got three girls in the kitchen here. Allison, Darcy, and Debbie. With Gumbo Heaven.
Thank you very much, ladies. We're going to have Lenny, Lenny back up here. And as, as uh, the ladies were saying earlier, one of uh, Lee's favorite groups during her life was the Mixed Knots, yeah. of which we have some of the founding members right here with, uh, with Jimmy Robinson and Tom Marin over there on the fiddle. And, and also they brought up the fact that uh, Lee did so many songs. I, I mean, I, I think what we're trying to show here tonight a whole lot is how great her originals were. But she could sing anything, and she loved to do a song by Randy Newman called uh, Falling in Love. And, and people said that when she did this song, she just, she became incandescent. And uh, you could clearly see that she was channeling falling in love right there in front of our eyes. No pressure, Lenny, to reproduce that.
love you, Lee. Mm. You just wish Lenny would put a little passion into it, you know what I mean? Come on back up there. Allison, Darcy, Debbie. Yeah, you can be in the band. All right. We do a song here that, that, that Lee wrote, and I helped her with it. It was called, it's called Just Practicing. I was just practicing until I found you. And uh, Darcy's going to take the lead on this and, uh, with a little bit of help from all the rest of us.
Marcy Malone. Thank you. Where are you going, Holly? Come on. Holly, get back on this thing. We just got one more number for you. Can you guess what it might be? Guess what we're going to play. It's something called My Darling New Orleans. This is the third song in the Little Queenie Big Easy Trilogy. Yeah. <laughs> she always called it, it was the jazz poetry group, Lee always called it jazz pottery. <laughs> she had special names for all of us too. Yeah, she did. <laughs> She probably had special names for some of y'all. I was going to say for all of you, and then I got better at it. <laughs> Whether you know about them or not, That's she right. had That's names right. for many of you. Okay, one more time. We're going to start this with the little Queenie cheer. Lee Harris. Yeah. Little Queenie.
the Jazz Fest Foundation for putting this thing on and, and honoring the life lo legacy of Little Queenie. We know she's here. We love you. We love you, Lee. We know you're here with us. Thank you so much, everybody. Ricky Sebastian, Joe Cabral. We got Holly, we got Debbie, we got Darcy, we got Allison, we got Lenny. We got John Murney, we got Jimmy, we got Josh, and we got Zimple. Did and we I got all anybody? of you. Thank you so much oh, to the Jazz and Heritage Foundation. Alex. And the Historic New Orleans Collection for this incredible night and opportunity. Please take your programs home. We made them with love. And uh, it's a little soon. Yeah, please story. take them Thank home. Thank you so much. And go visit the historic New Orleans collection. Support